I think, I think probably the greatest amount of censorship in this country today is in the pulpits of our churches because we have a law that limits pastors for what they can say about politics in the pulpit. That's not the American way. I have a book at home, actually it's a two volume series of election sermons that pastors used to give in the pulpits because they felt free to talk about elections, free to talk about issues, free to talk about politics if they want to. That is the First Amendment, allowing pastors to say whatever they want to say in the pulpit. Because one thing they recognize is the whole concept of American exceptionalism. And American exceptionalism is grounded on the Judeo-Christian ethic, which is really based upon the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments were the foundation for our law. That's what Blackstone said, the English jurist, and our founders looked to Blackstone for the foundation of our law. That's our law. American exceptionalism was built on that. And if we silence the pastors in the pulpits because of a law that Lyndon Johnson put into effect back in the 1950s because he didn't want them to say something against him, what I would do is back the repeal of that law so that we can exercise First Amendment rights again everywhere, including in this church and every pulpit. Let me 